Ma, 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 ma. Hmm. Okay. Awesome. What are you oh. doing? Hey, Anna. Nothing. Are you playing with toys? No, I am not. <laughs> then what are those? These, they're not toys. They're puppets. And I'm also working on my newest invention. A red button? Yeah, don't, 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 don't. Don't uh, push the button. Why? I need it for my invention, okay? I know it seems a little bit weird with puppets and giant red buttons, but it will all make sense on today's episode. Okay. Today's episode is all about puppets and puppets in film. You could say puppet film. I'm really excited for this episode. How about you? Sounds awesome. All right, let's do this. I'm introducing So a puppet film is where you have a puppet as one of the essential or main characters in your production. Puppetry, it's like a form of theater where you're taking inanimate objects and bringing them to life. Oh, so inanimate. Anything can be a puppet. Yeah, anything can be a puppet. It's really cool. And in fact, there are so many different types of puppets. They're made from a wide variety of different materials depending on how they're gonna appear on screen. You know, some puppets can get pretty complex and some pretty simple, and I think the best thing is just to take a look at them. So let's look at a few different styles of puppets. Just to start naming off a few puppets, we have finger puppets, hand puppets, glove puppets, shadow puppets, rod and arm puppets, marionettes, stick puppets, ventriloquist puppets, sock puppets, and well, even your hand can be a puppet if decorated correctly. Out of all these puppets, well, marionettes are one of the oldest. They originated in the 1800s. They're full length figure controlled by strings. The strings are connected to the limbs of the puppet and then moved by the person controlling the strings. Hand puppets, also known hey, as nice glove puppets, are worn over the hand. These puppets are usually made from cloth hey and it's controlled by your very own hand. And well, sock puppets, these are my favorite. Ew. What? What else are you supposed to do with old socks? I don't know, throw them out. Well, that wouldn't be very environmentally friendly, now would it? No, I guess not. You know, fun fact, once upon a time, I actually wanted to do a sock puppet show. I just got really cold feet. <laughs> See, puppets are so cool. I just love them. Yeah, I do too, but like, I've always wondered, what would it be like to, you know, be like a puppet? Yeah. 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 Uh, well, anyways, uh, I have a guest today that will be able to help us understand a little bit more about puppetry. Oh, really? Yeah. His name is Peter Kamenik, and he's joining us with the Slug Brothers. <laughs> Wait, what? Slugs? Yep. Slugs. You heard me right. It's hard to explain. Here, just check it out. Huh? What the? Who, who are you? Uh, hey, we're the film labs. You guys, you guys get in here. There's What's some wrong? people on my computer. Oh, yeah. We're supposed to explain puppets to these people. Puppets? Why would they want us to explain puppets? Well, maybe those people down there no. can help. Hey. What? You can probably come up now. 
Hi, my name's Pete, and I'm the creator and puppeteer for Slug Brothers. Oh, ah, uh, Peter, what's the Slug Brothers? Slug Brothers is a comedy web series about three giant slugs living in the real world with humans. Normally where I'm standing is the Slug Brothers living room, which is a set that we've built in our studio. But we've actually torn down that set uh, in preparation for season two of the web series. And so uh, I'm coming to you live here from green screen land. If you'd give me the chance, what I'd like to do today is just tell you a little bit about how we make the show Slug Brothers and how we made the puppets as well. Yeah, I would love to know more about this show, especially Anna. She loves slugs. Starting off with the puppets, I have Elmer here. Our puppets are hand puppets, which means that you control them with your hands. There's lots of different types of puppets, but uh, these ones are hand puppets. And how we make the puppet is we start by molding our hand. We take the plaster casting of the hand and stick it into a block of styrofoam. The styrofoam is a base, which will eventually get covered in clay, which is easier to carve and sculpt detail into. So once the hand is stuck into the styrofoam, we cover it in tin foil as a way of building up the sculpture without wasting clay. The clay we use can actually be heated and reheated. So we heat this clay up and then pour it onto the table to help it cool down a bit and then scrape it across the entire sculpture. And then using different tools and techniques, we are able to sculpt the detail into the slugs. Once we have a final sculpture of the slug, then that needs to also be molded, kind of the same way that we molded our hands. And the cheapest thing to make one of those molds out of is basically the same plaster that we made the hands out of. So the mold can't just be one big shell of plaster around the sculpture, it actually has to be multiple pieces. Once we figure out which piece is going to go where on the mold, we build what we call a dam, which essentially separates the different pieces of the sculpture from one another. So then the entire sculpture of the slug is covered in plaster. And we use different layers, building up, building up, as well as burlap. And the burlap helps strengthen the plaster so that it doesn't crack. Once the plaster mold has cured, we then clean it out, take out all the clay, and are able to start making the silicone puppet. And the silicone actually starts as a liquid. There are two parts, part A and part B. And when you mix these two liquids together, after a certain amount of time, they will harden and become rubber. We take these liquids, mix them together, and then brush them into the plaster mold. You brush layer after layer until you get the right thickness of the skin that you want. And that's what we call it, the skin on the silicone puppet. And after we have the right thickness of skin, we are able to then pour an expanding foam inside of the uh, sculpture. So inside of each of these puppets is actually a layer of foam as well as the layer of silicone. And after the foam is cured, we're able to pull the entire casting out of the mold and begin to paint it. Uh, we use a special silicone paint and we spray it through a, either a spray gun or an airbrush. And all the paint designs are actually based off of real species of slugs. So that's kind of cool. Once the paint job is finished, the final touch to the slugs are the eyeballs. Uh, it's just actually a ping pong ball. And what we've done is taken photographs of real human eyes, and this one's my brother's. Whoa. We've printed off the iris and cut it out and actually glued it on the back of a glass lens and then stuck that onto a ping pong ball and then coated it in this clear epoxy. And if you look really close, the veins in the eyeball are threads. The eyeball sits inside of the slug's tentacles. And for us to be able to pose the tentacles in different positions, we use what is called an armature. And an armature you can just think of as a skeleton for a puppet. So this is what's inside of Garth and Ernest's tentacles. Elmer doesn't have any armature. His tentacles just flop all over the place. Most of the Slug Brother episodes take place, at least in part, in a living room set. And we've designed this set to work perfectly for our puppeteers. All the furniture is actually two feet off of the ground, which gives uh, the Slug Brother puppeteers a place to hide. Our couch is actually hollow, and there's holes cut in the cushions. So we can hide inside the couch and stick our arms up through the holes in the cushions. But for the scenes where the slugs are not in the living room, we hide our puppeteers the old-fashioned way, which is just by ducking down out of the shot and sticking the puppet up. 
but you can't always just hide under the camera. And so sometimes you got to get creative and use objects or furniture in the foreground to hide the puppeteer behind. Sometimes the puppets need to walk in the shot. And in those cases, I actually lay down on a skateboard and drag myself through the frame. I hope you enjoy this little peek behind the curtain on Slug Brothers, and I hope you learned a little bit about puppets. If you want to know a little bit more, you can go to our website, slugbrothers.ca, and over there you'll be able to actually watch all of our episodes as well. I think it's time for me to go back to where all puppeteers belong, though, and that is below the frame. You guys, they're still here! How do I turn this computer off? Man, I could listen to him talk all day. He's fascinating. I know, he's awesome. He is. What are you looking at? Mm -hmm. I can't hold myself anymore. Don't press the button. Okay. Ah! <coughs> Anna! 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 I knew it wasn't ready yet. Anna! <coughs> Anna, are you there? Uh. <coughs> Anna! Thank gosh. Uh. Ah! We're puppets. puppets. Ah! Oh. Ugh. <sighs> okay, okay, relax. There's no time to panic. I just need to think. Hey, you know, this is kind of cool. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, but it's awesome. Uh, okay, I got it. Here's the plan. I need you to go get a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, okay. Okay, I think I can fix the button with that. Wait, how do I, how am I gonna do that? I'm a puppet. Trust me, you got this. Elmo's been going on adventures for years. You can do it too. You're right, okay. Okay, I'll go now. Okay, just, just watch out for animals. Mm-hmm. And babies, uh, vehicles, water, wind, fire, and everything. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. Uh, wish me luck. Okay, good luck. <sighs> oh, gosh. Laboratorium. No screwdriver here. Shh. Labs. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a screwdriver? Hmm. Mm hmm. No. Didn't think so. The labs. Do you have a screwdriver? Uh, no, sorry. Ah. Uh, okay. Then I'll get a sandwich. Oh, Anna, welcome back. Oh, hey. I got that item that you're looking for. It's right here in my pocket. Ah, don't worry. I don't need it anymore. I'm positive I got the button working now. You're kidding me, right? Nope. I got it working. What? I thought you'd be happy. Ah, <sighs> you know what? Just hurry up and push the button. Well, well you're not going to hurt me, are you? Push the button. Okay. Okay, I should mention though, what you have in your pocket will prevent you from being turned into a puppet next time. So it's a good thing you grabbed it. 
Oh, interesting. Push uh, uh, Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Oh, thank gosh, we're human again. <laughs> Carry on. Oh, yes. This is probably a good time to wrap this episode up. It's not every day that you get to become a puppet, and I had a ton of fun today. And we hope you had fun too, learning all about puppets and puppet and film. I do hope that you take all this new knowledge and you apply it to your own filmmaking. Hopefully, we'll see you making your own puppet movies. Anyways, uh, my name's Mitch. And my name's Anna. And, and we're, we're the, the Film Labs. Labs. You ready? Oh, no, 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 no. Bam again. So, uh, yeah, you guys are um, here today at the Film Labs, yeah. and uh, this is your first day on the job. Great! I hear you guys make a lot of money. Yeah, when are we getting paid? Oh, no, 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 no. You guys, you guys aren't getting paid. Y yeah, no. We've, this is kind of like your big moment. You're, uh, you're going to become famous, maybe. What's my payment? Okay, okay. Yeah, what are we getting paid? All right, no, I get it. It's just, this is for kids, right? It, it, it's kids TV. And your point is? Okay, listen, uh, how, how about this? I will pay you guys uh, with snacks, maybe? Is the snack a hundred dollar bill? I wanna go shopping. Uh, okay, then what's a fair price? Around one million dollars. Make it two million. Telus didn't give us that much, but uh, why don't we uh, meet in the middle and uh, what about this? Hmm. Deal. Deal? All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Good. Well, let's get started with this episode. It's going to be a long day. See? Itchy. Itchy! Oh, hello, Anna. A five. This one. All right. <clears throat> Wait, I want to go pizza. Oh, bring anything, bring anything. We are puppets. Arch. Okay, ready? Oh. <laughs> What? Are you okay? <laughs> I shouldn't have waxed the floors the other day. All right. <clears throat> yeah, what are you looking at there? I can't help myself. <laughs> no! <laughs> there goes our button. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's safe! <laughs> All right. It doesn't work anymore. Okay. And, well, puppets, they're so cool. Oh! Anna! Anna, help me! Oh, thanks. Yeah. 